shows a lack of morals, values, and integrity, and a judgment that I can no longer trust to allow them to wear this badge. Tonight, we're getting our first look at the pictures that set off another wave of anger. I shouldn't have to teach this. There's no training that should teach human decency. As the Aurora Police Chief apologizes, what we're learning about those officers now fired from the job. The Aurora Police Department has a long, sordid, horrible history of both racism and brutality. That needs to stop today. And as protesters gather in Aurora, Aurora does not approve. The McLean family is responding to this latest investigation involving their loved one. And these are the pictures that set off a firestorm. Frustration is growing tonight over the death of Elijah McLean. And these pictures of officers appearing to mock his death. The pictures were circulated among five Aurora police officers. Four of those officers no longer work with the department. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is joining us live in Aurora tonight with more on this. Megan. And Chief Vanessa Wilson said she is disgusted and disappointed by the officers who were involved in those photos. Now, those photos were shared among five officers in a group text message. And uh, uh, Chief Wilson said that she only found out about them eight days ago, despite the fact that they were taken in 2019. Still, she ordered an expedited internal affairs investigation into this uh, to talk to those officers. We are ashamed. We're sickened and we're angry. Eight days after interim police chief Vanessa Wilson found out about photos taken by three of her officers at Elijah McLean's memorial site. It shows a lack of morals, values and integrity and a judgment that I can no longer trust to allow them to wear this badge. Strong words and even stronger action. It's reprehensible and that's why they no longer work here. The officers in those photos are Jaron Jones, Erica Marrero and Kyle Dietrich. One shows the three smiling at the memorial. The other shows Jones putting Dietrich in a carotid hold, the same move officers used on Elijah McLean. Jones resigned. The other two were fired, along with Jason Rosenblatt, one of the officers involved in McLean's death. He responded to the photos inappropriately. And to say ha ha when he was engaged in the incident with Elijah McLean is absolutely unacceptable. Before the press conference, Chief Wilson says she met with McLean's family and apologized personally. The family was also able to review the photos first before the public. Now Chief Wilson says she's hoping new policies will change the culture in the department. I can say that we've made a lot of mistakes and that uh, we have addressed those mistakes and I am continuing to address those mistakes with transparency. Um, and also holding officers accountable. And she hopes all officers in her department are paying attention. These four don't get it. And if any officer in this police department disagrees and thinks that this was acceptable, I will gladly accept your resignation today. Now, the Aurora Police Association also had some strong words, but they had them for the interim chief. They said that they're disappointed with her firing in particular of one of those officers, and they don't believe that she's fit any longer to be chief because they believe that she violated those officers due process rights. Now, those three officers who were fired today have 10 days to appeal this firing with the civil service. I'm live in Aurora, Megan Lopez, number seven.